Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é a Aleartes. Seguinte, a Blakestore.com, a melhor loja do Brasil, está comprando e vendendo skins com os melhores preços do mercado. Faz o upgrade nas suas skins antigas, compra o seu inventário completo e 100% confiável. Utilizando o cupom ALEARTS1, você vai adquirir mais desconto nas suas compras. Então, entra no link da descrição e não perde essa oportunidade. T's have five up, Ents are, have only lost Ariel, and have got some utility left over, so what will the play be? Well, looks like that Z retake, Cold Zera doubling back into the A site, not going to find his headshot, unfortunately, but Alexi taps the bomb, tries to get these T's to peek out in the after plant, and Phelps will fall, down goes Taco, shell crushed. And that right there is Ents with a retake. Yeah, they performed the retake, they Spread did themselves it. through the ocean. And Alu comes crashing down into that first frag of the round. Taco gonna take damage here. Had a chance at the headshot, right? And that's what you're playing for with those deagles. You're not gonna get many opportunities before the bigger weapons start tearing straight through you. So sure enough, Fallen will make the most of it. He had already lost two players on his team. It is a response, sure, but it kind of comes late as the rest of the terrorists just dwindle down and reveal themselves. They are sure enough doing damage, but no additional follow-up frags, no creation of space, no opportunity for Cold Zera to sprint that bomb into the site. Mm -hmm. You know, if you could get that plant and get back your Deagle money, then they're good to go. But it doesn't seem to be the case here. A lot of things will change, uh, especially when you have to practice against uh, th this new economy. But we're already seeing like a strong buyout for Ents, which I think Sergei, is all alone at the back of schools. Yeah, Alu, he got drawn away. So Sergey, can he do this? He nails himself two players at least. And Alu just back into position has found himself one of his own. But it's Cold Zera to the top side. And as he fires down, he only manages one kill. So with six seconds left, Phelps, the well, top rope. But yeah. he's the last man up. Can't find that elusive Sergey, who's actually repositioned in the round. Does get taken down, and sure enough, that's a plant. So MIBR happy. How much more, though? Three TTs still up. Taco spotting bodies. Missing headshots, however. Yeah, and that was an imperative plant. It was a... Who's on the other side? Potential first victim in Cold Zera sees the grenades being thrown and strikes immediately. Simultaneous frags coming in off of Alu. That was, you know, any kind of support. That back deep opper. He draws the player inwards. Fur then gets the trade frag, but Fallen misses his opportunity to drop Sergey, who is still a nuisance until now. 50 seconds left in the round. Fur down the ramp on 4 HP. Three CTs on the other side, but there's options for MIBR. Yeah, there's an uh, there's a huge potential here for Fur, even though he's so low on HP. It doesn't seem like there's a grenade that can take him out. So if he stays hidden behind this train, waits long enough, MIBR can activate a different option, whether that's rotating back or re-aggressing on B, and already have somebody as a front man that, that Ants are not, not completely sure about. So here it is, Fallen making his way back down to the ramp. I don't know if he's going to go ahead and take the bomb. He's known to do that. And they do the jump to make sure that they can kill a rotator or anybody there that's meant to be camping in Z. And again, he's got to go plant. So this is one reason you don't like to see this that often. Oh! oh. Ariel! All three. And just like that, it's Ents on fire. 25 seconds left on the clock. Excellent long-range headshot. And seems to have a read as to the other player's positioning. I mean, we know Taco can come in clutch. He's got the positioning as well. Once more, he's gotten around to the side of the train, oh. and the CTs don't know this. Did but he's running out of time, Mohan. There it is. 10 seconds left, and he finds another kill. It's just left on the last of Sergey who's just going to hold the bomb site because he's fine. No time. Taco loses to the clock. Yeah, he didn't have an option there. He They've got an, a MAC-10, a few upgraded pistols, and uh, armor on a few players. Rush inner. Yeah, another big old hyper-aggressive play. Fallen on the forefront with that MAC-10. Smacks down Sergey. And Ariel's going to actually manage himself through the smoke. But at this point, the T's are so deep in the bomb site that you'd think they hold on. Remember, this wasn't a full-fledged buy, so they're already content with what's happened, but it's a tantalizing task to close out this round, and Cold Zera could be the difference maker. Off the AK, finding one, Phelps' CZ comes up dry, and still Cold Zera resides behind the oil tankard. He's going to just wait. 
Time is definitely to his favor at the moment, and so is the numbers game. X7, last man left, catches Cold Zera with the headshot, but now he has to truck along towards the bomb, and he envelops it in smoke, jumping on top to the taps of fur he falls. It's MIBR. But what we can do is take that collective sigh of relief with the rest of Brazil. It's not a 16-0. It's not a 16-0, yeah, that would be rough. But might not be far from it. We'll see if Alu can cut down the numbers. He does have Sergei by his side. Again, this dynamic duo on the inner bomb site has been fantastic when tested. Cold Zera back to the high road. Has an op at his feet if he wants to swap over, but he finds himself alone in a one versus five. What's he got going for him? The fact that he hasn't been seen, and he has already gotten this deep. Maybe for some. <laughs> Maybe for some. He's good. He's going to let it slide. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, he just went for it. Yeah. And he almost got it. It's a beautiful sight to behold such a strong start from Entz right out of the major. You know, there was a lot of doubts in terms of, like, the consistency of those sorts of results. But if you take this best of one, which isn't much, yeah. as an inkling as to what could come, remember, they play Astralis after on oh. round two. <laughs> oh, my fur. He just pops them wide open here on this A bomb site. It's, it's left on Sergey alone, who's making a bunch of a ruckus as he just jumps on top of the site. There's a flank inevitably coming, but Fur could close it, and he will. Opens up shop. Um, which they also proceeded to close out cleanly. Like, there was just never any trouble. A uh, couple of Hail Mary rounds that MIBR were able to win, as you, as you mentioned, just for getting that ace, and uh, obviously the B rush on the half eco. But when all is said and done, 13-2 for Enz. And they're moving into a B site, exact with these pistols on the T side. For tippity taps down range, will find himself one headshot, and it's Taco from the spool to nab one as well. Three versus three, bomb planted. We've got that insurance policy as a player in the back of the halls, but all right, why not? Fallen flying forward, wrecks the face of X7, and Phelps takes Alexi. So Sergey, what are you made of, bud? Three counter terrorists coming in and one terrorist going out. So far the changes have been positive, but it's it's again interesting to to kind of try to compare that to previous the previous iteration of MIBR. Fur locks it down with the AUG on the lower ramp. But there's still a couple of eagles left over. Done. But they've got more smokes to come. Yeah. Those smokes gonna block off the vision of Cold Zera. Finds himself in a mist. And a foggy haze still stands, but it's Phelps to do first work. Fallen looking for kills, but all the kills have been taken by his teammates. That's four for MIBR and no response from Entz at all. Perfect opening gun round, so it seems. The multiple slight fakes that we saw in that round. And now Entz will try their hand at B, this time with only pistols. This is where first succeeded from last time round, but players do get passed. Nice damage versus Taco, eats a dink. That's gonna be the bomb plant at the very least. Ents will be happy to at least have something to walk away with. But here comes the flurry of frags and firepower. MIBR just all in on the retake already. Alu on the other side of the flames finds nothing. X7 to the top, not even killing Taco. That's five survivors once more for MIBR and six rounds as well. Yeah, it's big for their money though. The, the problem is now they're- He's wary like that there's someone still behind him and he would be right in assuming so. The doubled back bomb carrier to the B site could have actually done this. Fallen would have had a chance to go huge. And he still has an opportunity, but it gets taken right. Are have kept themselves in the shadows. The creeps emerge. It's traded straight away. Fallen finding one on Ivy's side as Cold Zera extends the advantage and leaves Alu all alone. 25 seconds left. Op in hand. And now position known. Great anticipation of Fallen's peak. Sees the player on the train and knows there's another in the office. He's just dancing around the ladder. He's being pinched though. There is a second player in Taco trying to find him. 10 seconds in Alu? Are you kidding me? This would be the 1v4. Did you hear him? Did he Cold Zera get jump. Yep. him? He did, he did. <gasps> Alu's oh my got God. it! All four frags on the A site. 15 health the difference and 15. Yeah, you just go charging into the B site, so it seems. Bomb up top. Taco down beneath. What a long range headshot. He still manages another. Alu's gonna try to take the place of his teammates. And he was he... all out of good shots. He used them all last round. Yeah, everybody's getting piled up here, Mohan. X7, last man up. MIBR not done just yet. 
but their efforts are continuous. Oh, They'll they fly down the ramp off the flash. They shot them both. Done. Oh. Cleared that bomb site and could very well be staring victory in the face here. 3v5 retake attempt. Sergey just burns fallen to a crisp. They said Brazilian barbecue is something, Launders, and it's no disappointment. Poor Fallen, however, walks away, charred to a crisp. Cold Zera, next up. One body is his, second as well. He's gonna have to go for the reload, and it's Alu to drop him, of course. 16.